Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this preview of Saturday's game against West Ham. Please, if you have new to the channel, then subscribe for regular content from me, my perspective on the Wolves matches. And also check out some of the links in the description down below. So Saturday marks Wolves' first visit to the Olympic Stadium, or the London Stadium as it's now called. And Wolves, of course, uh, played in West Ham's last season at Upton Park. Uh, back in 2016 in the FA Cup, losing out 1-0 on that occasion. But we did record one of our most memorable Premier League victories at Upton Park with a 3-1 win back in 2010 with goals from Jarvis, Zubar and Kevin Doyle on that occasion. Uh, really one of the most memorable moments of that season. As for West Ham this season, I think they're potentially in a little bit of disarray. They have had a tough start to the season. They've played against Liverpool and they've played against Arsenal with Bournemouth in the middle of those and they haven't won a game yet. This is their second home fixture and on the back of a defeat against Bournemouth at home, they'll be eager to put that right now to tomorrow against us. Wolves, on the other hand, is their second away game. We struggled a little bit in our first away game at Leicester. We were very, very unlucky in that game. There's been a lot of talk about West Ham's central midfield partnership of Jack Wilshere and Mark Noble, and in particular, Mark Noble's lack of pace. There's one of the goals against Bournemouth. He got turned very, very easily, and it was almost embarrassing watching him jog after, or sprint, I assume, after the uh, Callum Wilson before he put it away. Uh, it was a very weak goal in general to concede, a mistake from the goalkeeper as well. Um, so Wolves should be looking to exploit that and moving the ball quickly in midfield. And I think we've got the players in Moutinho and Neves to be able to do that. We also should need to be putting pressure on their defence. I don't think Diop had a very good game last week against Arsenal. He was at fault for a couple of their goals. Ogbonna and Fabianski, I think, are two decent players in the Premier League level. But we've seen in the wide areas, if Wolves can get in behind the fullbacks, whoever they are tomorrow, Wolves can make things happen and make chances, and that's important. Now, West Ham, of course, spent an awful lot of money in the summer as well, and they brought in a high-profile manager in Pellegrini. Um, the players are taking a little bit of time to gel, I feel, but one player that did stand out for me last week in the highlights against West Ham was Felipe Anderson. I thought the way that he was taking the ball forward and driving at defenders looked a little bit frightening and did remind me of moments last season when our defence struggled. Now, it's not clear at the moment whether Arnautovic will be playing. He did pick up an injury last week in their game against Arsenal, had to come off, and he's been training this week. But Pellegrini came out yesterday and said that he would not be part of the game today uh, tomorrow, but... We'll wait and see whether or not he's on the team sheet. As for Wolves, there is no fresh injury concerns. Cavaliero is still out for the foreseeable future. Danny Bart is moving to Middlesbrough on loan for the season. And Bright Denner Bakari has got to kill Marnik on loan for until January. So both of those players, we sort of knew that they'd be moving on. Neither were included in the game on Tuesday at Sheffield Wednesday, which they would have both probably started in the past. Um, so hopefully they can go and reinvigorate their careers elsewhere um, there. For me, I wouldn't start Adama Traore at the moment. I feel that he's such a he, he had such an amazing game on Tuesday against Sheffield Wednesday, um, and you, it was the impact of his game was clear to see. Whether or not he might be worth more bringing him off the bench in a game against West Ham with 20 minutes or so to go, getting behind their defenders. I think that's that's something that's worthwhile. We saw Costa do that on Tuesday, but I think that Traore will do that tomorrow. Dendonka as well came in uh, on Tuesday, did quite well, but I think we'll be looking at a couple of weeks before we see him in the first team. And also, who would you replace? Put in the comments down below for Dendonka because you've got Willy Bolly, who played, was probably the man of the match against Man City. Connor Cody, who's growing into the Premier League and is the captain now of the team. I'm not sure whether he'll become the club captain as well. And then you've got Ryan Bennett, who by all accounts has been the best defender so far, the most consistent in the, in the first three games. So who would you take out of that back three to bring in Dendonka? It's not clear to see. But it was good to see on Tuesday that a lot of these fringe players are in good form anyway and it's really important now that with the game against Leicester in the League Cup I'd play that same 11 and make sure that those players are fresh and ready and hopefully we can have a decent cup run as well but I'm, overall I'm really looking forward to the game tomorrow I feel quite positive about it I think if Wolves can keep up the intensity and the pressure and the pressing that they did against Manchester City not turn up tomorrow thinking that we're better than these then I think we can get a result but I think the thing that will work against us and that worked against us for quite a few times last season was complacency and the feeling that we've just got to turn up and win. What could work in our favour is that if we can keep the crowd quiet for 20-30 minutes, if we can score in the first half, 
we can see Wolves build and grow into the game. As we've seen, every time Wolves have scored first under Nuno, they have never lost so far. Touch wood. And as well, the crowd at West Ham, particularly at the Olympic Stadium, turns very quickly and they leave very early in the game even earlier than the North Bank. So we need to we need to capitalise on all those moments. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Drop your comments about tomorrow's game in the section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you after the game tomorrow. Bye-bye. Blake Smith, Miller's chase. Jack Yorker backpedalling. Came to Kennedy! Walls are flying! Kennedy with the purest, zippiest hit you would ever see.